Oh no. Break the fuel line. Steal the. These are not good choices. Steal the rotor. These aren't good choices. Why are we making these choices? All right, now act like you wasn't listening. Act like you wasn't listening. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> You're fired. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today I am bringing you back the quarry. Um, I did the prologue. Um, these characters are actually dumber than I thought they'd be. And now it kind of makes me wonder what I'm about to see in this part one because the prologue wasn't part one. Um, yeah, we're gonna die again. Also, might I mention that if you've seen my prologue playthrough, you'll see that I missed a lot of uh, jump-in moments where the character the game will tell you you have to press certain buttons. I did not know when I missed a bunch of those. Now I understand that that's part of the game. I will try my best not to miss any more. <laughs> but anyways, let's just go to summer camp. So this is chapter one. Uh, it seems so peaceful like we didn't just kill somebody the other night Hackett's quarry the summer camp 1953 the peaceful the happiness yeah the false everything this is all fake I can't wait till we actually get into this she has hips oh gosh not there again uh, the memories <laughs> they want us to walk to the door again like <laughs> Oh, they want us to walk to this person. This elf? Is it an elf? No, that's a person. Just sitting down here. What's up, Jacob? Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Good to know. Oh, he must be, a uh, mute. So, are we just gonna, that that's it? Okay. So I guess they don't want us to go through the door this time. We're gonna walk back this way. It's so, it's nice to be able to walk around here and be able to see everything. Because God knows why we came out here at 12 a.m. We are back and it's sunny. It's, it's actually like appreciative. Let's, X button. Jake, bags, focus. Don't tell me what to do. Not with that attitude. Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get back. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. Huh? I'm pressing for the bags, aren't I not? Am I not pressing the bags? Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get back. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. Oh, okay. So just. Oh, so it wants me to go upstairs. So let's walk up the stairs. I'm an idiot. <laughs> she said go upstairs. I'm tripping. So we're going to walk up these stairs and it's going to take us somewhere. She said get the bags though. So are the bags upstairs? Must be. Jesus Christ. I said the same thing. Hi. Hey, are you guys going to help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's... Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's, I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. With this thing? It's just Dylan, please. Dang. Bro, what did you do? Cool. Thanks, guys. What did you do? L1. Why am I pressing L1? I don't care let's keep walking this way is there something phenomenal that we need to see that's up here let me see well, what's up with over here we gotta oh let me guess the character can't go this way can it oh we're gonna sneak in through the through the window yeah, don't get stuck we don't need a step bro episode you're out of breath out of hopping through the window. Come on now. X. So we're going to press the wind. 
You're gonna climb back out the window. No, go back in. Double skill. Go back in the window. I thought it was gonna tell me to close it. Let's let's look around. This I don't know why people leave it. If I go through the window one more time. Go back in the window and stay in there. Now move forward. I was pressing on the cup. I was trying to press on this cup that was glowing, but I guess I can't do that. So we're going to walk this way. Now press X. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. I hate you. There ain't nothing wrong with horror movies. Horror is the best genre. Oh, no, 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 no. Let, let's go in this, this room right here. What is this? Oh, this is creepy. This dining hall is is very creepy looking. Why are we in here again? Are we looking for bags? No, no, no. Keep walking. Yo, these controls are actually kind of crazy. Um, X. There was X on something. X for what? X. There it is. Yes. Oh, y'all have ghost. Oh no, he picked it up. Okay, okay, okay. Let's continue to walk in this 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 weird looking kitchen. Um oh, X button right here. Are you tasting your ashy lips? Like what are you doing? Yeah it is. Okay, I keep thinking somebody's gonna pop up behind us. <laughs> so we're gonna come back out here into this dining area and hopefully find something valuable, like my bags. Can I come up here? Oh, here are my bags. All right, we can leave now. Oh, I'm not touching this, okay. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Defensive, playful. Let's let's be playful about it. Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Mmm. Oh. Bars. I'm sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were. Oh no 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 no! Uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Smug, mischievous. Let's be let's be smug about it. Who said I was hiding that? I'm not. I'm just saying. You know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? You still on this? Like, come on now. It's like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah blah blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Defeated, brave. Take it like a man. I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was gonna happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit. Visitation lawsuit. Surprise reconciliation. Empty nest. Retirement. Grandkid. 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 A nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms, and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. Maybe I'm not feeling Brenda's song. Oh shit! I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Huh. Oh, seems legit. Okay. Okay. 
So are we sure that this old rust bucket got is you? We'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey. Ha! <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here... Uh, Why? ...exactly what I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Ah, uh, see, we went from one stupid character to the next to another. Trust me, chicks made of her mind. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Yeah, we're stuck out here. Oh no! Break the fuel line. Steal the. These are not good choices. Steal the rotor. These aren't good choices. Why are we making these choices? Oh, she has you hooked or something. Yeah, the path has been chosen. It's like she didn't see you. It's like she didn't pick up on this. She just ignored you. <laughs> it's, come on now. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d d oh, shit. Boom. Hey, I caught it. Oh, there it is. Mm. Oh, man, good sight. Mmm, gyrate, huh? Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. He's scratching his balls. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? You know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is... Being dumped in emergency. Oh, wow. They're on his ass. Friendly. We're going to be friendly about it, but I mean, uh, okay, well, they are hitting this man. Oh, damn. Now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, okay, okay. Let's all put our little dick swank at the show on the road, huh? Hmm. Okay, so we have a redhead named Abigail. Who happens to be an artist um pencil pencil sketch that's i think that's what they call it big nose tiny lips um yeah this is all i'm getting from this this one scene so far until another person comes yep we are officially empty nesters high five up top got it Oh, I thought I missed. <laughs> You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, what? That's what we have to do here. Find someone with a key. Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. No, we're not leaving the bags. We're breaking in. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. He'll think it was a bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Bears, no, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. Alright, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm Didn't they say the door was locked? Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. Alright, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. No, I think you should definitely leave. I didn't they just say the door was locked? Okay, well, now we have to explore. I think I should have just left my bags. I should have knew it was just not going to be this on this simple thing. Um, so what's there to look or what's there to look for? Aww. X. This was little Izzy's. Is that a doll? I want to play a game. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> 
keep? Man, no, I'm leaving little Chucky behind. Yeah, you can probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. Yeah, don't don't bring that with you. Gonna attract all si all types of demons. That should be everything, and I'm still walking though. Oh, there's more. Why would this place be in the news? <laughs> Why wouldn't it? <laughs> Shit. Why wouldn't it? It's the middle of the woods. One more thing, and I'm leaving. Is that a camera? Actually, gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Oh, I thought it was a camera. All right. Well, you've had your your uh things. We're gonna leave now. All right. Now, where did the 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 one girl go? Where did that other brunette go? This way. Oh, this place is big. It's like an actual summer camp. Um, I think I'm heading in the right direction. Let, let's head towards the light. But it's so quiet. And it's the daytime. Oh, there she is. Okay. So we are heading in the right direction now. Yes, enthusiastic. We're not uncertain. Uncertain. There's no coming back to this place. Not after the murder that I witnessed. Murders. Acting. That's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try mm, it no, it's you really not. No. <laughs> it's too late now, anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Oh, I, I went the wrong way. Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thought they were all up. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you put it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. Why don't you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp. You know what? We'll uh, take the scenic route. <laughs> oh. Two months, no technology. We'll Should have went to the lodge, but okay. Plus my subs and me. Maybe they won't leave in a body bag. Sarcastic. Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can mm. take care of our own bag. Thank you. Mm. Cool. Ugh. Wait, what does that say? I press X. I, I couldn't see. Wait, what did it say? Uh, uh, Abby, do you need? Yeah. Can I? Thank you. I, I couldn't even see what it said. Is my TV broken? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it was to pick up the bags. I I don't know. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? 
protective friendly yeah what's it about is it about me you think i was listening to a podcast about you okay if anyone here had a podcast about them it'd be me yeah if there was a podcast called how to look and smell like a butt oh my god you are so childish really so don't look and smell like a butt <laughs> no it's a, it's a paranormal podcast oh of course it is <laughs> what's the hag of hackett's quarry you don't know about the hag of hackett's quarry uh if i did would i be asking them ass tell her about the hag of hackett's quarry I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of Mr. Burrs or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Oh. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. Probably to kill you part. Haga Haga Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Defensive, supportive... Defensive. I want to see what he says. Oh yeah, you got a cooler one. Oh no, I wasn't <laughs> sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, 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 seriously, dude. I think it just it came out wrong. Hey, you still have the van key, Mister H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Yeah, I already don't trust this character. This is giving off get out vibes. Hey, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yeah, Ryan. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. He's gonna kill Ryan. Annoyed. I think he's gonna kill Ryan. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. No, I, just I can't trust you. For the ride, man. All right, that's enough. Five minutes, like, like five minutes. That's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just. I'll meet you at the van, okay? Why do you have to send Ryan though? I think I kind of no. Actually, he kind of creepy. Now that I think about it. So, uh, Chris, I, I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, no it's, um, it's just you know about the whole thing with, with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Ryan, you need to get out of there. Hello. Listen to Pa Guys e eavesdrop. Care about the podcast? I want to hear what they're saying. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get This is a waste of time. You know what I know. No, should I have? Why are you staying out of the way? Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Alright, now act like you weren't listening. Act like you wasn't listening! Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just... <laughs> You're fired! <laughs> You're fired! You were... we're cool, champ. Just... Come on, it's all right. You're yeah. fired. Now he's gonna kill you. Oh, you're fired. You're just gonna stand there. Uh, you need a hand? <laughs> the keys? Uh, no, he sorry. has the keys. Anyway, you were 
asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, this is whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Mm-mm. Oh, constrained, frustrated, frustrated. No, no, concerned. Important to me. You know what's important to me, Ryan? Trying to run a successful summer camp. Oh, I should have chose the other one. To make up for the losses from last year. Uh, Terrified kids are bad for business. Phone calls uh, get from scandalized parents. Nightmares, thumb sucking, bed wetting. Think about that the next time you're flipping some yarn about the, uh, the... Oh, the Hagger Hackett School. Just think next time, champ. Use the old skull muscle. Apologetic. So we can get out this office. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. <laughs> the acting... <laughs> he don't know where the keys are. I mean, he knows where they are. Acting like he's looking for him. Understandable. Let's get out this office. Yeah. Best to get you all out of harm's way. Woods are chock full of live game, and local hunters hop to it the second camp's over. It's not safe. Hmm. Where in the good goddamn are they? I know he has those keys. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Oh, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. Mm. They don't just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staff. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. I don't trust nobody that says let's skedaddle. <laughs> I say that. I don't even trust myself. <laughs> Let's ski daddle. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Hmm. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Oh, I only Let's wish. Go. What's the problem? Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine mix rate. Mmm, it's like I took something from it. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Bro, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. Oh, Bro, fuck, get out dude, the seed. Enough, both of you. Shit, come on, right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, Let's dude. Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Oh gosh, his voice. Everything just changed. <laughs> yeah, this shit is about to get real. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal. He's okay, panicking. Spend one more night here. No! You don't no. want to do that. Just stop. 
Let me think. The spirits are coming. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. What? Yeah, you're right. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Hey. Hey, bro. Come here for a sec. What's he about to do? What's he about to do? Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Man. Compliant? Like... What? Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. Man, I would have took his car. I would have beat him and took his car. Like, come on now. I, I'm not staying out here in these woods. This is all Brenda Song's oh. fault. What was that about? Oh my gosh. You said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or. Or. Or we could do something else. You can die first. You can die first. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Yeah, for life, for real, because it's gonna be your last. Oh, dude! Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah. Okay. Um. What do you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seems. Pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. It'll just kind of freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Apprehensive, supportive. He did seem freaked out. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Tell him you overheard some stuff. I don't even know. I promised. Uh, no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Man, be his ass. Defensive. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told no. me. No. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. See, he's a smart character. I like this. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. How are you going to get to the store? And, uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phone for something. All right, let's do this. The story begins. Uh, I think I'm going to leave off right here. And... Find out where life takes us in the next part. Because it seems to be starting in that next part. But yeah. Till next time.